Yeah, it really did. It's going down as history as like the best uh, video game movie of all time. Yeah, I thought Warcraft was good. If you saw Warcraft, it was alright. It was yeah. enjoyable. Yeah, it was I, I, I'm not big into the Warcraft lore, so I didn't get as much of it, but it was a fun watch. Yeah, hopefully this matchup is gonna be a fun watch here because it's gonna be Melo versus Alex. Nice. I like the way he's got a Steam spell. That's for sure. Here, for Melo, I'm, I'm assuming he's definitely going to Snake. If not, I'd be lied to because he has the tag on your Snake. Uh, this matchup, honestly, I have something I have not really seen, but. What, it, what it, for Melo here is honestly he's the one kind of feeling the fury of Cloud's which will be because he knows if I'm letting Snake hold the pin on the grenade, I have to make sure he's holding the shield and he's going for that blade beam to make sure he's doing that. Surprisingly, this is a matchup I've seen quite a few times. Um, just within the IE and like some of my friends, and I have a couple of Snake Team friends that have played this match a couple times. Uh, but it can be very difficult to back it. Such a menace to try and recover on Yeah, because I think it does meet that threshold of oh, uh, uh, getting Snake off the side first. Definitely, and the limit burning right there on the grenade is just a neutral to that. That's kind of one of those things you have to restrike to if you're going to be beating. It is going to kind of set the grenade and unfortunately when hit it. I like it. He's trying to set that back up, but unfortunately he was aiming a little bit too high up the shield. Solid option, but yo, man, that snake is nowhere near you. Yeah, the up tilt just has so much push on the shield, and this is where it's going to be uh, the biggest issue for Cloud, is how does it get back when it comes to the game. Exactly. I feel like that's kind of one of those things like, where Cloud could be really good on stage, but the problem for him is that he's off stage. Let's say he's got Nikita Missile and he's got you on the ground. Like that was there. Good follow up there. Trying to use uh, Nair. Oh, nice dash dance into the side beam, calls out the goal from Melo and gets the stock, but already seeing at 100 percent This matchup is very momentum based. We're seeing it come out right now with Melo having the lead right here. It's just been so impossible for Alex to set up once Melo got going. Alex really hasn't made one touch before. Yeah. He rolls away from Melo and Melo says, I know. Hi guys. <laughs> The grenade, nice, and even though he's got the cloud up here, the grenade will able to hit Cloud on the way back down. Pulls the trick on the C4, and no follow up. But that was really good from Mel to demonstrate the, the follow ups you can do from C4, especially on the platform. I am just throwing up the shield, looking for some sort of carry on on the approach from Alex. Not trying to get too overzealous here. Yeah, the opportunity goes for the wall here. Limit on deck. The C4, quick dash attack here. Sets up another grenade. It's able to hit Cloud, but now he's able to explode on time. And he's avoid the blade beam with limit. Yeah, that one was ambiguous where which side Melo was gonna land on. So instead of going for the side beam, uh, he wanted to throw off the blade beam and try and cover every option. Yeah. That should have been Melo's opportunity to understand I might be going to be looking for a talent grab, especially with the fact that he did have um, Sorry, Alex, it should have been here obviously just for a dash grab. Come on, crap, because we did see Melo just push him with shield. Yeah, and the C4 is going to be able to take this game number one and Melo through a bit. Yeah, honestly, it was really good because he kind of had him forget about C4. Yeah, I mean, when Snake's so busy fighting you CQC like that, throwing all these grenades and hitboxes out, it's real difficult for you to actually keep track of where the C4 was if you're not super familiar with it. Yeah, and on certain stages, it's really hard to see this, the, the actual. Uh, C4. Yeah, the C4. Absolutely Even though it's uh, D-team, because there's so much going on in the I think like Battlefield, it's really hard to see as well. I have a, I have a friend that plays Snake that he'll, uh, yeah, he'll take you to uh, Dracula's Castle version of yeah. Battlefield. That's a good way to do it, because it's really hard to see how the lighting is yeah. on that stage. You can't see anything. Like, he throws the grenades out, he throws the C4 down, he plays the black snake so you can't even like, see his projectile body. Yeah. I was like, you know, I have a friend who plays snake. I was like, who could forget about the IE legend who defeated Tyro at Evo? Yeah. Let's go, IE. Right? Oh, well, anyways, we'll see uh, what Melo can do here. Because so far he's got the game up against Alex, and he's doing a solid job. He was trying to make sure he comes back on the stage. Alex, though, looking to have Melo's number, because he's going for these bench press up airs. And he's got the limit, and he's got the stock already. What a great play on him. Yeah, like I was saying last game, it's so momentum-based, and now resetting this game number two. Oh, man. Imagine. Alex has taken the momentum away from Melo, and he's taken the first stock already. That was good. Goes for the dance match because he's looking to cover that option. If he goes for neutral get up or drunk get up, he has it covered with the main napalm. So at this point, Alex might be going for a wall. He had that red really well. Oh, up the uh, shield with the limit. A lot of damage on the deck right there for Alex. 
the opportunity to go for Nikita here. Send me right back in and put him to the other side. And have to go low, circle it around. Untackable and the stock is going to be taken. I love the way Melo did that because he saw Cloud jump in time. And instead of panicking and saying, I need to get my shield up, he just brought the Nikita missile around. And then, you know, hit Melo for it instead. Yeah, open fall up in there. I like it. Even goes for the full hop because he knows Cloud might be going for a backer or an aerial. Shield. I like it, sees the spacing and he finds a grab here, sets him right back on the stage, gets the get up attack option. He knows he's gonna be pulling that up because Snake likes to follow up from that. Grenades in play, Cloud was limit on deck. Good stuff from Melo, he's using all the grenades to make sure that if Cloud is gonna make the approach, he has something to fight. Grab right here for Alex, throws him off stage with the back, so looking to just make it hell for Melo to land, but. Mello, able to find his way down, gets an F-Tail and forces Alex back off stage now. He's in his head, he can't go anywhere. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those things like, yeah, not only do I have a lead, but I literally have done enough in the game to just say like, okay, Alex, I'm trying to cover your options here. Yeah. It's up to you to figure out how to change your game plan or to watch out when you're going for the forward air approach. We're starting to see a lot of desperation options from Alex, it really feels like. You know, as soon as he's getting limited online, he's just throwing the hitbox out. He's trying to get the stock off Melo and even the screen back up. Yeah. Play beam. Good parry. Tries to fall in with a dash attack because he knows Alex might be coming in after that play beam. I was trying to stay calm, though. He knows he's got that high percent on him. Grenade in play. There's a rest. No follow up, but he's got more grenades out there in play. Get down punish. Still, no, he's not going to look for it. I do believe he was true at that percent, but knows it won't kill, so he's looking for the upshot lead. The dash dance side B not going to work once again for Melo, but he has to play this entire stock without getting grabbed a single time. But. Melo says, I don't even need the dump throw to the up tilt. I can just throw the up tilt out and it will pay. Why have my, my opponent scared about grab when I can have them scared about up tilt? Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, if they don't want to sit in shield on Sage, the best option is going to be jumping. But yeah. If they burn their double jump like that and you get under them, what can they do about up tilt aside from get hit with it, really? Couldn't have said it better myself. That's why I said it. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you said it, man. I think I see... Okay, so I see Arma, and I do see Lumbre coming up Ooh, here. Okay. So we're likely going to 